Hi, uh, so in this video I'm going to look at how you sort out, how you start to set up my or this repository called paper to lecture So uh, first of all I'll give a bit of motivation why I created this. Uh, I'm severely dyslexic so I find it quite hard to read papers, scientific papers, and prefer the format of lectures. So I wanted to take PDF documents and turn them into a lecture type style of presentation. Um, I found that quite difficult because the way PDFs work, so I ended up using tech files, LaTeX files, which on the archive, I pronounce, it's the one with the X in it, I don't know how you pronounce it properly, but that you can actually get the raw text files, so I thought I will make a program uh, that turns tech files into lectures or lecture type things and this is the result of that ideally in the future I, I would want to turn it into a pdf ideally in the future somebody somewhere will hopefully make a pdf to tech conversion document i know realize that that's difficult but that's like ideally the dream or hopefully this program would, would be much improved if that ever was made okay so let's take a look at what files that are present this is, uh, I only uploaded this three hours ago, so there's not a lot of stuff, I guess. Okay, so the main ones are these three. The readme is not that important. The readme is there, um, it tells you what to do. License, it's uh, GPL free. Uh, basically, I think that means you can use it, but you have to release a thing under the same license. Uh, we have an icon, it's not a major deal, like the, pro, pro, the, the thing won't work without it, but it just puts an icon on there. And then menu, doc, menu, doc, menu, menu documents, which includes acknowledgements. So here I have a list of all the uh, things I use, some stack overflow posts, some other internet sources, um, and then some like Python modules and things like that. Okay, so what you need to download is these documents and these files and put them into a folder like this. So here I have some other folders hanging around. That's just because uh, this is where I made the program. This, I just have an old version of the thing and uh, some test files, they're not important. And here I have a test paper, which I may upload onto GitHub later. And this contains just some of, I use uh, the website Stack Exchange. So this contains just a few of my Stack Exchange posts put into like a LaTeX format. Um, my Stack Exchange is the same name, username as I have here. Okay, so once we have that, um, once you've downloaded it, it, it's really ready to go. You need, you need all the modules installed. I, I want to put this into like a closed, executable file but I'm not quite sure how to do that yet um, I'm like I've used Python for years but when it comes to packaging things together I haven't really had to do that so I'm still curious how I get like the tech uh, txt files in there as well and things like that you also need a pdf latex or an equivalent command line version uh, I'll show you where that is in the code. So if you want to change it, you can. So uh, you also, okay, so if you have PDFTK, I'm, I'm running Linux. Um, so you may have to swap these for equivalent versions in your command, in your operating system or whatever. So I'm using PDF LaTeX to do the creation of the PDF files and then uh, the PDFTK to separate them. So what basically happens? how this program works is it creates a beamer presentation so we have uh, a template and it creates a beamer presentation it reads the file so if we come over here it will read this file it will take any commands which are here so if if, if, if someone's like to find a new command for example like they find a cat um if we like I guess this would be a standard head thing. So if someone defined that, and I've got my brackets wrong, I think we need it like that. That might be wrong. I just want to know. Um. So if someone defined, sorry, looks wrong. 
if someone defines something like this, then what my program would do, because the way it analyzes stuff, it will actually take this cat and anywhere this appears in the document, it will substitute this in. This means that if you define like weird cases for equations, something like this I've seen recently, um, it will substitute this in and that will let my program find the equations easily, yeah, more easily, I mean, it's not a word. Okay, so there, there, there are some, I've tested it on a few papers and it seems to work quite well. There are some papers it doesn't work. I've had a case where I've had some defined comments within the document. Um, currently it doesn't deal with that well, but that's a case you can just go through the paper and delete the comments. Ideally, I will get that to be sorted automatically. So once it's done that, once it's, it reads this file in, it subs out all the comments and then it finds sections. So it will find this section here. So this is a subsection here. So it will find this section. I think it, it, may, it replaces equations by a temporary value. So it doesn't muck stuff up first. And it will find this section here. It will separate those two in, into a list and then it, I, I, I realized this was meant to be like, uh, how do you set that up? But I'm actually telling you kind of how the program works. It's useful, I think. Um, what they will then do is will then split uh, things into sentences. And then once it's been split into sentences, it runs through a loop. And if it has an equation, the current algorithm now is simply, if it has an equation in, it will, sh it will display it as a PDF. If it doesn't have an equation in, um, it won't, or it, there's a few key words that I've put in. Okay, let, I think I think we should see how it actually works, or, or how you get it done. So it's written in Python uh, 3.5. Again, I want to put this into an executable at some point, but that's not going to happen very soon. And then you get this. Okay, this is a very badly written uh, piece of code, which this wasn't me. This bit of code is not me that does this amazing uh, selection thing. The rest of it, all this bad stuff behind is mine. Um, so let's insert that. And then you have to put a start point in. Um, again, ideally I would want it to start initially. So start at the documents if you don't put anything in. That may already be implemented. I have forgotten, but I'm not gonna test it now. And then you simply press submit. And then it opens this. Bye. This and it starts to speak. So the reason it hasn't come in, um, century. Oh, there's nothing to display on the screen at the moment, it's because there are, I'm going to force it a second. Present P uh, on the keyboard forces it. So the reason nothing is displayed now is there's no key words in this section and there's no equations. And again, ideally, um, it should show stuff. Okay. Like, if you put more keywords in, it will show more stuff. Uh, let's see if okay. Let's see if I can get this to work. I, I'll try and find a section. Okay, let's unpause um, it and then close it. And I'll try and find a section with equations in. So this section should work. If it doesn't, then it means there's something massively wrong with the program. Okay, let's run that. Let's insert the file again. Again, not the best written code. Blah 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 blah. Put that there. And then, okay, good. I so this is what it looks like. Again, yes. I'll pause it. This is what it looks like. We have things. These were equations, and they've been taken out, and then put back in, and then this is displayed. So it will display this in bold until this next bit's been displayed, and then everything moves up, and you get like a cycle of things. So it's like a ledger. And you notice that the voice I have on there, so the algorithm I'm using for the voice is, so I, I have the option to change the voice. Currently on this edition, it's not working. So you are stuck on one voice, but I like, it's a quick fix that I haven't got around to doing to make sure that this voice can come out. Um, so I'm using SDP say, again, you can swap this for any voice generator like eSpeak or anything like that. And I think I, in the past, I downloaded um, the Android API voice. So that's why it's quite a good quality voice, this one. You'll have to do that. Your um, P 
Pico generic won't be the same as mine, so you may have to change it or whatever thing you're using. Okay, so this is basically okay. it. The, I it have it like this. Between. I have it like step by step. Um, the, I leave a gap between the words to change so I can write it down. Uh, like I, I think that's the best way to imitate somebody writing on the board. So when they write on the board, they often say the words as they're writing them. And that pace is respected in here. There's some randomness in there and things like that. Okay, so that's the main thing. Some other features, okay. you have a help menu, which took me ages to complete, um, with acknowledgements and keyboard shortcuts. So the keyboard shortcuts are currently pause and unpause, help, which is this menu. Uh, actually, press and help, pauses and unpauses are anyway, so they're kind of redundant. Pause and unpause is kind of redundant. Change voice type should work, but it currently doesn't. Um, so you have to do that menu. So this is the basic thing. Miller. Indices. And this is basic program. And so, play. something else I should mention. Let's. You have to close it when there's nothing Indices. else. Indices. Um, if of course lots of LaTeX documents use packages. If your program, it does a test for a package, and it says here packages you don't have. If it just continues onto here, it means you have or onto your respective LaTeX thing it means you have all the packages in that paper if it doesn't it does the the um it doesn't i don't think it matters oh no it may matter but i i found that uh, i can't remember i think it matters i think it won't work if you if you don't have packages but the reason this doesn't really this has never really come up i've used this quite on a few papers and all of them seem to have very standard packages, so I don't think there's anything to really worry about. Well, it's not a big issue. Ideally, I'd want to, it's like, um, like I think Overly does something like this, put the source code, put the, put the relevant, um, or download the relevant packages if need be. Um, okay, so that is basically how you get it to work if you have any questions or find any bugs I'm particularly interested in bugs which um, affect the way the program works. So papers that if you if you link if you ever find a paper that doesn't work, forward it me and I'll try and make it work. Ideally, I want this to work on any paper. Um, this okay. So this program calls function files. I want to show you something before I finish. And uh, this is um, to do with how maths is said. I. I kind of worked in this a bit, it's not great, but I've put some rules in of how maths should be said. So if it's like fraction or something like that, it will try and say it as you would say if you were speaking. It's not ideal, it doesn't cover every case, and if it doesn't cover the case, it just won't say the maths, hence why I've got the maths showing. Okay, I think I'm going to stop there. Um, hopefully this was relatively useful. I know I've uh, dragged on a lot. But if you have any specific questions, if you find any bugs, let me know. And I like I hope to develop this further. And I can pretty much guarantee that, well, I, yeah. Okay, I'm not gonna say what I was gonna say, it's not relevant. But I'm gonna stop here. Um I yeah, ideally the the, the, the aim of this is to get this into a, an executable file an executable form so that it can be used by anybody if they have no programming experiences and for it to work on any tech document and in the ideal future to work on any PDF. That's a long shot because PDFs do, uh, lose, I think you lose quite a lot of information from LaTeX or tech to PDF. So that is that. I will stop this.